This is what movies are all about. Entertainment. Movies hold memories. Hey there, welcome back to a new video and I just wanted to talk about the very first Blu-ray that I ever purchased. I was pretty late to the whole Blu-ray thing and I was initially pretty stubborn early on. I was like, come on, I don't need to change to Blu-ray. I've got thousands of DVDs, I don't need Blu-ray, but you know what, as soon as I tried Blu-ray out for the first time, especially when it's a proper real good restoration and special edition of a movie that you love especially, that's when you realise, okay, it is worth the upgrade and the, my very first Blu-ray had to be something special and I loved that I see as soon as I saw this this release of this movie I had to get it and it was it had to be a special one as I said for my first Blu-ray and it's Arrow Video's release of the 1980 film The Exterminator by James Glickenhaus. I love this movie. I've always loved this movie. I always I've always loved these kind of grindhouse, sleazy, kind of violent, nasty sort of revenge movies. Very much in the same way as Death Wish, Charles Bronson. If you've never seen The Exterminator and you love you love those kind of sort of Death Wish movies, you'll love The Exterminator. High high definition Blu-ray presentation of the feature presented totally uncut. There's been a number of cuts to this film before in the past, and this is the full uncut version. It's got an audio commentary with the producer Mark Buntsman um, and he's also the writer-director of Exterminator 2 which was moderated by Callum Waddell and I listened to that commentary when I first got this and it was, it was really insightful, I really enjoyed that, especially a, a film like this, a, a film like this that you kind of grew up with. I know I, <laughs> this is a type of film a child should not be watching but believe me I watched it a lot as a kid and I loved it. It, there's an introduction to the film by director James Glickenhouse. It's funny how James Glickenhaus directed this and he also made um, one of my other favourite films, The Jackie Chan's The Protector, in a, in a very much similar sort of style, a little bit sort of sleazy and violent and just still in that kind of ground, grindhouse style and yeah, I just I just love these movies. Introduction to the film, um, Fire and Slice, Making the Exterminator, an, inter an interview with director James Gluckenhaus. There's also a wee small documentary on here, right? It's 42nd Street Then and Now, and it's a tour of New York's former sleaze circuit from director Frank Henenlotter, who was the director of films like Basket Case and Frankenhooker. And he takes us on a trip around sort of 42nd Street and Times Square, and he, he's recalling times when... Times Square and 42nd Street were full of, you know, like, full of sort of live nude shows, sex shops and independent movie theatres showing grindhouse films and pornos, that, that type of thing. Like, Times Square and 42nd Street is nothing like that now. As he described it, it's like before it became Disney World and he's recalling the time of when The Exterminator was filmed. That's, he reckons that was the great times. And you know what, it's right, it's true. It's true that that that's a New York I would love to have experienced. Was that was that New York when it had all these wonderful little cinemas where you saw all these these exploitation films and but you know what films like The Exterminator and Taxi Driver and the like you can you can revisit that New York you can Basket Case even you can revisit that grimy old New York anytime you want in these movies. It's always there and people always have their memories and photographs and images as well but yeah but that that was really interesting as well it was interesting to hear from him this is new artwork by the way from dude designs very nice artwork i've never seen that before that's quite a new one especially for this D this blu-ray and it's a reversible reversible artwork as well with the original kind of artwork that you used to see on the the old vhs's and the the DVD release as well. This is an old, old VHS that I've got of the film here. See that? I love collecting my VHSs of some of my favourite films. And, and The Exterminator, I always had that recorded on VHS. It was a, a great double recording of The Warriors. Love that film as well. The Warriors, then The Exterminator. And I used to watch them back to back a lot. <laughs> 
you're talking from like four or five years old and stuff. The Exterminator, the man they pushed too far. It's funny, this was a few years before Arnold Schwarzenegger's The Terminator, or James Cameron's The Terminator, but with Arnold Schwarzenegger in it. And obviously he became famous for his line, I'll be back. And in this movie, I won't spoil too much about what happens in it, but in this movie there's a scene where <laughs> the guy puts a bloody gangster through a bloody meat grinder in a butcher's place. And before that he said to him, if you're lying, I'll be back. And he's the exterminator. The exterminator is played by Robert Ginty. Robert Ginty, who him and his friend, they're Vietnam veterans, right? And then they're working together for this like f food production or food manufacturing company or whatever it is. And his friend gets violently attacked and paralyzed and by these gang of ghouls and the ghetto ghouls. He's paralyzed for the rest of his life. And Robert Ginty, who's suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder from his time in Vietnam he swears revenge on these on these scumbags and he does get revenge on them big time and it doesn't just stop there and yeah it's a collection of violent sort of <laughs> scenes and just just absolute brilliant entertainment it's not everybody's cup of tea but it's a real nasty piece of work at times, but it's a really well made film and it's it's a it's a real period piece back to the late seventies, early eighties of what New York looked like as well and I just I just love these sort of exploitation, these video nasty films and the exterminators it's a really good film. It's really entertaining and you should give it a try and there's some ugly, horrible characters in this movie who deserve to get their asses kicked and Robert Ginty is here to to help. <laughs> As I said, there was a reversible artwork, but there's also um, new writing on the film also. Yeah, there's a wee, by David Hales, there's a wee um, booklet and a wee essay on the film also, but definitely worth getting. If you're into collecting cult classic movies and you like your Arrow, Arrow video releases, you won't go wrong with The Exterminator because... I definitely recommend this film as as entertaining and brutal and nasty as they come and great artwork, great special features and as I said if you enjoy vigilante revenge movies The Exterminator is definitely one of the best. That was my first ever Blu-ray and I've probably got over a hundred now but this was my first one and it had to be a special one that's for sure and I was delighted to get The Exterminator. Anyways, thanks again for watching and I hope you can check out The Exterminator sometime soon and let me know if you've seen this film and if you enjoyed it or if you've got any memories of this film and thanks a lot. Cheers.